be doing a haul video because I recently did some shopping. I did some clothing shopping and some beauty shopping. So I'm going to be showing you guys some of the things that I got recently from H&M, Urban Outfitters, Cotton On, and like Target because you guys know I don't like Target at all. I'm totally joking. You guys know I'm pretty obsessed with Target. Anyways, I'm going to show you guys what I got recently. And if you did a haul video recently, you can leave that below so I can see what you got. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and start off with the beauty products that I got from Target. And you guys know I go to Target all the time. It's pretty much like my second home now. So the first thing that I picked up is the Revlon Nearly Naked Liquid Foundation. And I wanted to give this a try because I have been using the Revlon Color Stay for a really long time. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to give this baby a try. I'm wearing it today and I like it so far. And I got mine in the shade Fresh Beige 160. So I picked that up. The next thing that I got, okay, I am obsessed with Maybelline color tattoos. They're just basically like cream eyeshadows. So I got Barely Branded, which is just kind of like a champagne shimmery eye base. And this is just perfect for like any neutral everyday eye looks that you have. And I didn't have one like this. So I picked that up. Okay, and the last beauty products that I picked up from Target recently are probably my favorite lip products right now. And that's saying a lot because I haven't even had them for that long. But they are the new L'Oreal Lip Stains. And I'm not even sure what these are called because they don't even say it. But they look like this. Like little rockets or something like that. So I got this one in Infinity Fuchsia. And then I got Stubborn Plum, which is like this really pretty pastel purple. And then I got Pink Resistance, which is just like a peachy pink. They feel so light. Like it honestly doesn't even feel like I'm wearing anything on my lips. So I love these and I kind of want to go get some more. But yeah, I picked up those from Tarjay. So now I'm going to show you guys the clothing items that I got. H&M! And they gave me a really plain bag this time. I was pretty disappointed because it doesn't even say H&M on it. But anyways, I got a lot of really bright and colorful things from H&M that I'm really excited about because spring is coming up so I'm already like leaping into spring because I'm so excited about it. So the first thing that I got is this knit. It's like a cable knit sweater and it's like bright green. It's so adorable and I just think it's really pretty. I already wore it once with some skinny jeans. So I really love that sweater. And then I got another sweater from H&M. And this one is another bright color but it's not like as bold. It's like this really cool blue color but then if you look closely there's like all of this colorful like knitting. It's like colorful specks in it which is kind of weird but I thought it was really interesting. And it's kind of like a crop sweater so I'll probably wear this on like a warmer spring day and then you can just roll the sleeves up. So I really like that top. Okay you guys, now are you ready for this? <gasps> so I got a bright neon pink sheet. No actually it's a scarf but it's like super big. It's an infinity scarf so there's like no end to it. It's just like a huge loop that you can put over your neck and then you can like loop it a few times. And then we have our scarf. So I really like this scarf. I also love the material because it's like really light and flowy and I kind of wish I would have got another color just because I'm in love with the scarf and I know that I'm going to be wearing it a lot. Okay and then the next thing that I got from H&M is this stunning, adorable, amazing dress. So this is what it looks like in the front. First off, I really love the color of this. It's not necessarily pink but then it's not really red. It's like a mixture of pink and red. And then the back has like full lace and I think it's so adorable and then it cinches at the waistline and flows out. I think that this is just such a pretty dress and I'm very excited to wear this. I'm not sure where I'm going to wear it yet but I will find somewhere to wear this dress. Okay and the last thing that I got from H&M is a pair of shoes and they are Oxford flats but not just any Oxford flats you guys. As you can tell they're just like this nude like tan color but then at the tip of the toe it's like bam there's this neon pink detail which I think is so stunning and I'm probably going to wear it with like a pair of skinny jeans and like just a sheer button up flowy top or something like that. And I don't know what it is with me and these bright colors guys. I just don't know. Oh actually I got one more thing at H&M. I got this little hair bun thing because I have one and my mom wanted one to like put her hair in a bun. So I got her this and it looks like a donut. Okay, and then I went to Urban Outfitters and I also got kind of like springy clothes there as well just because spring is coming up so I want to have some things for the new season. So the first thing that I got, I actually was wearing these in my last video, my DIY, and it is these high-waisted studded distressed shorts. OMG, I really love these. I don't really have that many pairs of high-waisted shorts. I think I have like one good pair that I wear a lot. 
So I wanted to get another pair, and I really like that these have the studs, and then they're on the back as well. So I picked up those high-waisted shorts. Okay, and then the next thing that I got is a top that I was totally flipping out over, and so was the cashier at Urban Outfitters. We were having a moment, and we were just freaking over this top. So here's what it looks like. It is just this t-shirt peplum top, but it has clouds all over it. It's just like a sky top. How adorable is this? I thought it was so unique and I've never seen a top like this before. So when I saw it I was like, oh yes, I'm getting that and I can't wear it right now since it is still winter. But once spring comes along, you guys best believe I'm going to be wearing this. And then the next thing that I got is a skirt that was actually on the sale rack because every time I go to Urban Outfitters, I go straight to the sale rack because they have amazing deals and it's just a high-low skirt. I've really been into high-low skirts and dresses recently for some reason. I love the color of it though and the fabric is just like really loose and flowy and sheer and pretty. And then I got this little tank top button-up little collar shirt and it just has this really cool like edgy pattern on it and this is going to be really nice just for layering and then I can also transition it into the spring and summer. So I really just like this top. I don't know what it is, but I just saw it, and I thought it was really, really cute. I normally wouldn't get anything that's, like, black and gray. I'm normally, like, into brighter colors, but I thought this was cute, so I decided to get it. Okay, and the last thing I got from Urban Outfitters, guys, this is by far the best deal that I've probably ever gotten at Urban, and it is these high-waisted cobalt blue shorts, and guess how much I paid for these, you guys? Just guess. $10. That's pretty awesome considering their original price was $50 and I got them for $10. That is just crazy. So yeah, they're just high-waisted shorts and then they have a little cuff at the bottom. So that's everything that I got at Urban Outfitters and then I just got two things at Cotton On which I'm going to show you guys really quickly. So one of my favorite stores to get like pajamas and everything like that is Cotton On. They have the most adorable pajama shirts. So I picked up two. The first one I actually posted an Instagram picture of and it is this floral big oversized pajama top and it says tonight's outfit oh yeah so glamorous I know so I got that one and then I also got this one which has like a tribal print and it says dream catcher and these are by far the most comfortable pajama shirts ever they're so soft and I don't know what it is about like pajama shirts slash pajama gowns but I just feel like so I don't know I just feel awesome I feel awesome in pajama shirts and both of these I think were eight dollars each which is a pretty awesome deal so that is everything that I got for this haul video I hope you guys enjoyed it let me know what you think in the comments down below and also if you guys have any favorite clothing stores then please let me know because I'm really into like trying out different clothing brands and clothing stores and I know you guys always have amazing ideas and suggestions and everything like that so let me know in the comments so yeah I will talk to you guys in my next video I love you and I'll see you later Oh my gosh, I'm like coughing up so many lungs right now. Chair. Chair. Just kidding. Seriously, stop, chair. <laughs> oh, I think I forgot something. Ow. I did some clothing shopping and some... I did some booty shopping. Booty shop? What? ice cream cake tonight, okay? I'm a little hyper. Don't judge me. Don't judge me, please. Ain't nobody got time for that judging. Sorry. <laughs> Raven Visions on three. Ready? One, two, three. Guys, I see a vision. It's Winnie. She becomes a billionaire. Totally kidding. She probably will become a billionaire, though. She's probably gonna rule the world someday.